What's up, YouTube? You know what? I'm not going to apologize. It is what it is. What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. Johnson. Here we are today. Right now, I'm sitting in my classroom. Hopefully, we can keep this consistent. I don't know. But welcome to your first day, either online or here in class. I'm happy to have you, as I'm sure you're happy to be wherever you are. Um, if you're here, it's going to be a little bit easier for us to kind of get started and get together with each other to set up all of our iPads with the necessary apps and softwares and all the other things that we're going to be using. Either way, we should be able to do this together through the links that you'll find below in Maven or on Google Classroom. They're going to be available in both places. With Maven and Google Classroom, you will be using both. Uh, we will be communicating through both platforms of the platform and we will be ideally submitting things through primarily Google Classroom but Maven will always be our home base. You will often have to submit things twice and that's okay. But before we get too into the, that sort of nitty-gritty stuff, I want us to kind of get used to our classroom procedures and how these videos are going to start and what to kind of expect with the rest of our days as we move forward with these videos. I can create a multimodal presentation and we'll be working with the speaking and listening standard 2 all about creating a presentation with multiple sources. Before we get into the syllabus and any of the other things that we need to get to as far as documentation and getting ready uh, for the school year, what I need you to do right now is I need you to follow the links on Maven. They will be hyperlinked in the section labeled as other links. Follow those in order top to bottom and make sure that you are getting set up for Flipgrid, PDF Element, Google Classroom with the relevant Google Classroom code that is there and I will meet you back here on the video. All right, guys, so now that you've signed up for all those various apps and you are logged into Google Classroom, what I need you to do right now is pull up the class syllabus in Google Classroom. If you are in person, we are going to go over that together. If you are virtual, go ahead, just click that pause button, read through that for me, please. There is a lot of really great stuff in there all about what the expectations for you are. They're pretty identical to the same expectations for people meeting in person, but I really want to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as what's expected of us, how the school year is kind of going to go, and where to turn stuff in. Make sure that we are paying attention to what we're naming our documents when we submit them and how we're going to be testing and quizzing and what times those are going to be available as well as when I'm going to be available in case you have questions throughout the day. All right, so go ahead, pause this, turn on some good music, and I'll meet you back here. Now that you've read through the syllabus, we are going to go ahead and kind of go into our first assignment. Uh, sorry about the camera shake. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Our first assignment is going to be an EP project. What you're going to be doing is you are going to be collecting five songs that you think represent you. You're going to give me about three to five sentences on why you think that song represents you at this point in your life right now. You're going to be collecting this on Google Slides. The very first slide, though, should be a unique piece of album art. You can go ahead and check my example in Google Classroom. When you're done, you're going to submit that as an assignment through Google Classroom, and you're going to create a shareable link and submit that on Maven. You'll see that when you're finished with the question of the day. Also available to you is going to be a slide presentation about me, just so that way you can get to know me if you aren't in class with me today. You can watch that on your own time, you can do that at the end, you can skip around. Either way, watch it or not, I'd prefer if you did. That is also going to be found on Google Classroom for you. So go ahead, get to work on that. Please do a great job. I want to be learning more about you as a person, and I'm actually going to be collecting all of that music. I'm going to put it on one giant Spotify playlist. We'll try and listen to it throughout the year if it's not too explicit, and if not, I always get a kick out of listening to what you guys are listening. So, all right, I will see you on the flip side.